Hey guys, it's me, Silwolf, and I'm going to show you guys uh, how to invite a VIP person to the uh, Paradise Planning Islands in this video. I apologise to those of you who are a little bit tired of my Animal Crossing videos. To be fair, I really enjoy making them, even if they're not getting that many views. So, since I enjoy it, I'm going to keep on with them. I'm going to probably do like one a week, so that I don't overwhelm everyone with it. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to invite Flick, my favourite character. I uh, bought an amiibo card for him from uh, Hawk's Hideout on Etsy. Big shout out to Hawk's Hideout. Uh, they were very helpful. Basically, I thought the card had gone missing. Um, it just took a little bit of a while to come in the post. Uh, so they were really, really helpful over it. And they were going to send me out another, but thankfully my one arrived anyway. So I haven't invited a VIP character yet. I also found out that uh, if you invite a character and you're choosing where they'll live on the island, you can, uh, you can choose a place where another character lives already. And you can make this character live in the same house without actually being roommates or anything like that. Um, they can live in the same house, it just kind of puts two characters in that house instead of one, but not together. So it's like two separate houses in the same place. And it just kind of, I'll show you in a minute when I invite Flick. But it kind of just kind of stacks them up. Which means I have no idea how many characters you can potentially invite to fill the whole thing up. There are over 400 characters. Um, and I'm thinking that perhaps the amount of characters you can have living in these vacation homes might be as many as are in the game. In which case, brilliant, you know. But I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to invite Flick. So I've got my amiibo card here. Here we go, let's see if this works. There we go, that's the amiibo for Flick. I've always loved Flick because he's a punk like me, he's an artist like me, he likes bugs like me. Um, so. I would very much like him to live in a vacation home. Oh, come on. I don't want both of them. I just want Flick by himself. Uh. Well, this is really annoying. I mean, CJ's going to move in as well. Couldn't he just, like, move out? I know they're business partners and everything, but they can probably do business separately. Maybe I can make them fall out. It's not that I don't like CJ, I do, he's very cute, but I just like Flick, you know, and I wanted him to kind of live by himself. Oh well, here we go. He'll leave everything to me. So it's basically exactly the same as inviting a normal character. So I was thinking about either putting him here or here. Um, you can also... Uh, release bugs into the outside part of, of the vacation home so if you've got bugs in your pockets you can release them so you can have butterflies and things flying around but I haven't got any bugs in my pockets at the moment I'm thinking this one uh -oh. nah I'll go with this one ah oh, unlimited potential so he's not told me what he wants in his house, like all the other characters. He is allowing me to do whatever I like. Um, two floors, because there's two of the characters living in there. I'm taking captures of this as well. Time to head out. He's very happy. I know that if you invite Flick to uh, go to Brewster's for a coffee, CJ goes as well. And it's just irritating. I just like the character to come by themselves. You know, same as if I wanted CJ, I just want CJ by himself. But at least um, he's not here at the moment. And for all those people who say that they're boyfriends, they're not boyfriends, they're business partners. 
Um, much as it is lovely to have characters like hooking up and things like that and being together, it was mentioned in a, a guide and a lot of people got annoyed about it that they weren't actually boyfriends. I don't have anything against them being boyfriends, you know, that's absolutely fine. But uh, it was, I suppose, darkly amusing to myself how many people got a bit annoyed at the fact that they were business partners because it's just a game if you want them to be boyfriends in your head they can be boyfriends you know if you don't want them to be they don't have to be it's really down to interpretation um and i think that that's the beauty of it really animal crossing you make it what you want i think i'll use this one because it's got a spider web on it uh me personally a business partners because that was the impression that I got when they mentioned it in the first place. They said my partner. Um, so that's just the impression I got. And if it turned out they were boyfriends, then I'd say they were boyfriends. Um, but, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's, not, it's not really allowing me sort of much creative scope here. Um put a cedar tree perhaps in the back. Can I put it further near the pond? No. Oh dear. So with the VIP people it's literally, you design it from the ground up. So, I'm thinking, he seems to like these bushes. He seems to be, he's clapping his hands and he seems quite happy. And bushes attract bugs. So, the more bushes, the better, right? You can actually move the bridge as well. It doesn't have to be there. It can be somewhere else. Oh, look at that. I can actually change the bridge. What? Wooden bridge suspension. Ah, look at that. I can make anything on that. Lock bridge. Iron bridge. Zen bridge. I'll go with the Zen bridge. There we go. You can pick him up as well if I want to pick him up. I can move him around. It's not letting me pick him up. Why not? There we go. Look at him wriggling. I'll stop torturing him now. Uh, so a few more bushes, just one of each I guess, I've got a yellow one, I've got a yellow one, one like that, and one like that, and he's every single one, oh look at that, he's excited. Sorry, this, if this is boring anyone. I'm not very good with doing the outside design of things. Um, I'm better with kind of interiors. I'm also way better when I'm shown what to put around. So this is really going to test me. Uh, housewares. Miscellaneous. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Bug sculptures. I'll put some of them in there. You can have like a little workroom then. Um, but I really want some, I don't know, like an outdoor table or something. Maybe that. It's just something that looks nice. And then put this one over here. 
I'll probably have a fiddle around with this, you know, later on and stuff. Um, but I, I'm just sort of setting it up now. So, let's get to work. Nice and big. Uh, that's all right. I don't really sort of. Okay, in jungle. I don't really bother with the different lighting uh, things, because um, I found that once you get all the wallpaper and stuff in, the light, some of the lighting makes the place look really weird. So, bearing in mind both characters, so CJ, he likes fish and things. So I think we should do like a, an underwater kind of downstairs and then a buggy kind of upstairs. So I'm sure that there is somewhere. Iceberg, woodland, meadow, summit, tropical vista. Quite good. What ocean horizon? And then flooring. Water flooring. Because he likes his fish. Um, I really like the galaxy flooring. We'll go with water. So, what's that one? Starry sky. Housewares. Right, so, everything. Just go through everything. Actually, no, I'm going to go through housewares. Just find the beds. So, I'm going to give CJ a nice bed. Keep with the underwater theme. Her <laughs> mermaid bed. It's not very. It's a bit girly, isn't it? Dreamy bed. Kind of like the ironwood bed. Thinking about maybe that, giving that one for Flick. Uh, you know what? I'm getting. Uh, should I give him a mermaid bed? <laughs> Actually, yeah. All right. Here we go. The mermaid bed. Flick quite likes that. Um. There aren't any sort of underwater mermaid closet. <laughs> I'm just going to give him a mermaid themed room. Because it would be funny. Right. Uh... Give him the DIY workbench because he can make his sculptures and stuff because he makes fish, fish sculptures as we know. Um, uh, you know what? I'll give him the uh, ranch kitchen. Yeah, ranch kitchen. And that. And that. So he can do his cooking. I like to give them a kitchen and a bedroom at least. Mermaid lamp. What's that? A server. Oh, a server. Like computers. Okay. So let's just sort these things out. He's got a mermaid bed. Put that in the corner there and make his bedroom at the back. I think it's a bit girly, but never mind. I'm sure he'll like it. Put 
a light next to the bed. And then this one could go in here. Move that one down. Like that. Right, um, he needs a, a sort of a place to make his fish sculptures. Just making sure that's the right, right way around. And then I'll put this one over at the, this side. That's his kitchen. Uh, hmm. let's see. Put up partition walls. I'm going to put up a partition wall here. Come on, there we go. Actually, you know what, I won't do that all along there. Do it here. And then put this one here. Like that. So, he needs, like, a little seat. At his workbench. Give him a mermaid chair. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a load of uh, inspiration in the corner for him. So there's bugs here, but I'm pretty sure down here is fish somewhere. Here we go. So let's do a koi and a carp and a crawfish. Just things that he can look at as his reference because artists need references. So just put them around in the corner. Like that. Whoops. There we go. It's facing completely the wrong way. There we go. Uh, this little chap in here. It's a bit small. I put him there. Uh, what else do we have? about a string fish and then something to go on top a salmon now I'm hoping I can put a string fish here and the salmon on top it won't well let me put it on top that is really odd why won't it let me put, put the fish on top of the other one? So you can stack the smaller ones, but not the bigger ones. Oh, well that's a pain. You know what, I bet you can put smaller ones on top of that big one. Guppy, there you go. And a nibble fish. We put the nibble fish on top. 
Yes, there we go. So there, that's his little inspirational place. Uh, what else does he need? And housewares. I made so far. Let's put that over there. Oh, this is so weird. I'm not entirely sure as this is going very well. I wasn't expecting to do a a uh, a sort of living space for CJ as well. Elegant blue rug. And something a bit kitcheny, maybe. We'll have the entrance mat there. Uh, I think mermaid rug, obviously. I think going back up. We shall have that for the kitchen so I'll put that there whoops and then this one here mermaid one can go back there and duplicate this one and there you have it going up the stairs for what we were actually originally planning to do uh, a, a room for my goodness this video is already 22 minutes long so we'll have jungle actually you know what I put the downstairs one as jungle didn't I I'm just going to go down and do it as underwater Flicks like I was listening to that. So make it bigger. Sounds a jungle. Right, so first of all, wallpaper. forest wall, lots of bugs. Am I right? Uh, or woodland wall. No, I think forest walls probably. Well, then again, butterflies. That's probably better. And for the floor. You know, I could have given CJ mermaid flooring. Mossy garden, jungle flooring, daisy meadow. Give him jungle flooring. This is kind of like the flooring that I have in my flick room in uh, my own house on the game. Um, it's a little room in my basement where I put all flick sculptures. Okay, so everything right. I want Flick to have all the ironwood type things. So, just give me that table. Oh, it's a stool. Oh, well, never mind. And here places to sit. Oh, 
hardwood table. Ironwood bed. I just like the ironwood series because it's kind of sleek. Uh, ironwood dress off. Iron closet. I'll give him the iron closet. Those. That and won't bother with partitions. I wanted to give him this. It's going to look ridiculous, but I think he's going to have an open plan kind of area. Right, system kitchen. Ironwood kitchenette and the system kitchen, why not? I know what you're thinking, I should probably organise the things before I put any more in there. Right, okay, so I'm going to put his bed over here. And he's got his little nightstand next to the bed. This is kitchen. This is going to go here. Oh, we'll just move up. There we go. That down there. Oops. That one there. Kitchen table here. You know what? I'm going to put his little workplace over the other side. Like that. Uh, it's got a myriad of strange chairs. I'll put this one here. And a dresser thing. There. That one can go there. And we'll take this one here and put this in the middle, except I can't because there's a tiny stool there. I'm going to actually put that by his workbench. There we go. Uh, there. Can I not put this in the middle in here? No, maybe not. Okay, never mind. I think I'll just get rid of that. Um, so. Next he needs tons and tons of bugs. Because they're his favourite thing. So, let's give him tons of bugs. Not too many though, obviously. Oh, tiger butterfly. We'll have one of those. We'll have one of these. We'll have one of them. All oh, these little ones here, they're cute. Little grasshopper. Orchid mantis. A uh, walker cicada. A darna dragonfly. A man faced stink bug. A citrus longhorn beetle. I am a stag. A horned atlas. A walking leaf. A uh, hermit crab. What's that? A fly and an ant. I'm going to give him a fly, right? And I'm going to put it here. 
because I'm betting that he'll get hungry one night and think, you know what, I could do a midnight snack. All right, he says he doesn't eat the bugs, but he's a chameleon. Come on. Okay, so let's put all of these bugs in the corner and all over the place. Which way is that bug facing? No, that's Sora. I just want them to all be facing the right way, obviously. Put this one over here. And that one there. I think they're all facing the right way because of how I put them out. Can you not put that on top of that? Will that not go? Oh, it does. It's not right. It's not right at the back of the living room, though, is it? He has to have his inspiration. I mean, I'm an artist too, and we like to have inspiration all around us. Whoops. It's a place that would give Blathers nightmares. So many bugs. So little time. Put this one on top. A little cricket there. <coughs> Oh, we've got this tiny bug here. Will that actually go on top of... Yes, it will. There we go. Put him on top of there. This is a dream come true for Flick. Uh, let's see. Let's give him a rug or something. Like an entrance rug. Is there anything that's bug-shaped? Not really. Oh, a ladybug. There you go. That'll do. Ladybug rug. Put that there. Uh, hmm. It's looking quite good, I think. Um, what else? Put something on the walls, maybe. I like to always put the animals' pictures on the walls. Oh, I forgot CJ's one downstairs. Oh well. Um, here we go, wall mounted. I went past it. Let's move that over to... I like to put their posters above their beds. I don't know why. Maybe they're so vain they like to look at themselves as they go to sleep. Uh, what else? Old shelf with bottles, iron wall rack. Put that there, yes. There we've got the bugs all in front of the window because Flick doesn't care. I think he should have a TV. And a clock. And then all of these things with plants and that. Plants above the bed there. There we go. Where shall I put his TV? Maybe his TV could go... Let's put, put this one up here. Put that clock there. This one here. I'm going to move all those things in a minute, but let's put his TV here so that he can watch TV while he works. And let's put this one up here. And I like to put the clocks, for no apparent reason, I like to put them there. I don't know why. I just think it's a good place for a clock. Any other sort of plant type things? I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. You can have a mantis head model on the wall. Cool, he likes that. And you can also have a bug plaque as well. I think actually I'll put them up a little bit higher. There we go. 
And lights. Enamel lamp. That's kind of buggy, isn't it? I'll put one of them. And one of them. I do like the hanging shelves. And a vine garland. A couple of them. To make the bugs feel more at home. So put one there. Put one here as well. Like that. Uh, maybe more here. The hanging shelf can go up here. He needs a light over here, I think. And this light can go in the corner here. I come out of it. He's got a really good little place here to spend his time and enjoy his bugs. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and I think actually what I might do is the whole polishy thing. Because one can never have too many bugs. So let's just go and polish a load of things and get butterflies everywhere. And here. <clears throat> and there we go. It is done. I can go and tell him now. <laughs> Hive. This creation's theme and name. Oh, yes, of course. Because the other ones all have names. What's the theme of this vacation home? Oh, dear. What should we call it? Uh, it's not very creative, I'm afraid. Whoops. Oh, now I've got to go back to making it capitals again. Do 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 bug paradise, obviously. And there he's wiggling his bum with joy. Now I've got to take the photos. So when you make a, a, a little vacation home for a VIP, you can make it however you like. They have no theme, they have no name, nothing. Her, CJ's like, why not my part? Why is it Flick's part? He's looking up the bug. just butterflies everywhere. This must be remembered. <coughs> uh, 
Um, right, so the photo I've chosen is probably that first one there. And let's see, I can choose outfits for them. So to have when they're uh, in their own house. Huh. Let's make him. Oh, he's already got a little cap. Hmm. Denim cap. And of course, you get to choose from every single type of clothing because that's what's on offer. Oh, okay. You can only choose glasses and hats for them. That's a bit weird. It won't let you change the actual outfits. Okay. Nevertheless, if you choose a different outfit for them, they are quite happy with it. Uh, let's give him a little hat. I'm going to put sunglasses on him. I bet they look terrible and don't actually go on his eyes. Moving it down, moving it down. Um... Oh no, they do actually. That's pretty cool. What about some of these? I do like these ones. I've got a pair like this. They don't actually suit him that well, do they, to be fair? No, that's too close to his. That's a bit better. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. He's got sunglasses on. Right, and there we go. That's pretty much it. And I'm sorry it's taken so long, 42 minutes. Exquisite work today. Non insectoid guests. And that's that. So, I hope you've enjoyed me making a little home for Flick and CJ. Um, that's all for this video. If you want to see more Animal Crossing videos, feel free to click the boxes that come up below. If you want to visit my Etsy and New Monday stores, links are in the description. I sell plushies and plush commissions, uh, including Animal Crossing, including Flick even. Um, and uh, or you can buy me a coffee on Kofi. It all helps. The links are all in the description descriptions for that as well. So that's all for this time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. And this is Silver signing off. <laughs>